that oxygen can't even be taken into the blood. And that's when they determine and they start looking at the, the lymph system. Also, when people have uh, swellings and uh, in their necks or in their arms or in their groin areas that don't go down or they just, they, the point is this. The doctors that were trained before the 19, the, the mid 1950s, were trained and they knew about the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is not just the cleansing part of the system, it's the oxygen delivery system to every cell. Anything that will prevent oxygen from getting to the cells will create cancer because cancer is a lack, it starts by a lack of oxygen at the cellular level. It has to be severe, but it, once you have, have depleted the oxygen supply by uh, protein blockages that are created every time you get upset from uh, drugs, all drugs cause blockages, uh, impure water and food, pesticides, all that. Anything that is not a natural part of the food chain, and we take that into our bodies, it will cause an immune response that we call protein blockages. The lymphatic system is the base of the immune system. It's not part of it. It's the base of it, and it's rooted in the small intestine. So as the food goes, goes into the small intestine, the small intestine takes different nutrients out at different parts as the food moves through, and then it dumps the waste into the large intestine, which is the bowel. Any, when you're eating foods and drinking substances that have no nutritional value or have a, a large, they have a lot of the toxins and poisons that our food has in it, that's what's being taken out by the, the, as whatever nutrients that are there, if there are any there, as it's taken out of the uh, food and by the small intestine, so, is, so are these toxins and poisons. And so that immediately causes uh, blockages, meaning protein blockages. Let me explain this because it's our bodies are protein production machines. Every system produces proteins to run that system. So it's the gastrointestinal system. It has its, its uh, digestive um, enzymes and all that. All those are proteins. The nervous system, it has its proteins to run it. So every system, we're just producing proteins to run that, those systems. So anything that will cause... A blockage, the blockage is a protein. And so because the lymphatic system is also electromagnetic, it is an energy body. It is not physical except for where you see the, the, the nodes, the mother nodes that are large enough that if we have an infection or something like that, we actually can feel the nodes in our neck or wherever we're having the issue. Do the toxins dwell in the nodes when we haven't gotten them out of our system? Well, they can, but what, what happens is when you start feeling something in the nodes, there is a battle going on in the nodes. The nodes filter the lymph and the blood. And the reason it does that is because it's actually one system. The circulatory system and the lymphatic system are one system, but we don't look at it over here in the Western medicine. We don't look at it like that. They think of the circulatory system where, say, the oxygen comes into the lungs and then it goes to the heart and it, and then it gets, it, it to them, it filters into the blood somehow. Well, that's not how it works. It, the oxygen comes in, and uh, as the, there is an exchange system in the heart where 
some of the lymph flows from the right side of the heart into the left side, and as it flows into the left side, it picks up blood platelets that we call hemoglobin, and that's what the oxygen sticks to, these little tiny plates. They're like microscopic plates that the oxygen sticks to, and then that is circulated around so that, uh, and it's taken off of the plates by the a lymphatic system. Um, there are diagrams in the book that show that. It, it sounds like, well, how, how does that happen? It's an incredible uh, way that that happens, but the, the lymph, wherever there's a circulatory artery, there's a lymph artery, and the, the lymph artery goes, it permeates the circulatory artery and pulls into the cellular environment the uh, oxygen that is sitting on those little tiny microscopic plates. And then the cells use it for, use the oxygen for respiration. And then uh, the other part of the oxygen molecule inextricably combined with the oxygen molecule is what we call ether. Ether is the element of consciousness or the element that allows what we call our soul to remain in the body. So whenever oxygen is not flowing, not only are we not getting what life force, the cells are not getting the oxygen they need to, to do their work. Do you advocate people buying a rebounder and using it daily? Absolutely. Five minutes on the rebounder or the mini trampoline is the equivalent of running a mile, but you don't jump up and down on it. What you do is you, you act like you're walking, a nice bounce, and you keep your feet on the floor of the trampoline because there are actually lymph pumps in the feet. Uh, our the Western medicine doesn't, uh, doesn't show that, but other uh, systems do show the lymph pumps in the feet. And so you want to keep your feet on the, on the floor of the trampoline and just act like you're walking. A nice brisk walk, you get a nice bounce. You know, NASA proved that that was the most efficient way of getting in shape and staying in shape. That's what they use for the astronauts. I didn't know that till I read your book. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating. But there is so much that has been done, and so much that is, well, I just tried to share as much as I could. Your book was packed. Do you think in your in my lifetime there will be such a thing as a lymph test for health? Well, actually, there already is. Um, in Chapter 4, well, they have lymph tests, but, you know, if you understand how the lymphatic system works, then you can, in Chapter 4, we, it's an animated section, and the animated section is for children and for people who want to have, you know, it's just an easier way to understand how the lymph system works, and you see a character that we created by the name of Lymphy <laughs> who goes from radiant health all the way to disease and all of that, and you see how that happens and why it happens. I love that. And well, with just that alone, if you, if you just read through that section, when you start seeing the first stage of lymph blockage all the way to the sixth stage of lymph block, you, you'll be able to have an idea yourself of, how, of what state your lymphatic system is in by the symptoms of what's going on with you. What happened to you when your doctor pronounced you terminal? Well, it wasn't a very nice situation. Which, by the way, I think, doctor, is and should be a criminal act to tell a patient that they are terminal because that's something between the patient and God, not the doctor. It ends up being a placebo-like subconscious program that I think is detrimental and dangerous. I was discussing this with Bruce Lipton last and it should be criminalized for a doctor to talk to a patient like that. That's the kind of power the medical priesthood has. Well, that's true, and you're absolutely right. And let me say this. Having been on both sides, if you've 